Kickoff is fast approaching. We got our first preseason game Thursday night against Baltimore, and therefore we got a sub battle going on at Chat Sports. We're trying to see what channel Titans Today or Ravens Rundown can get the most new subscribers before kickoff on Thursday night. Help us win this thing. Go down. Hit that big red sub button. Welcome into Titans Today. I am Will Scott talking about some training camp winners and losers. A lot of storylines emerging from Titans camp. And it's getting exciting because the first preseason game just three days away. We're going to be able to see a lot of these guys in action. That includes Roger McCreary, a rookie corner, second round pick out of Auburn. And I remember being on this channel back in April when that pick happened. I had mixed feelings about the pick, but my goodness, has he really turned in to a heck of a talent. He continues to wow coaches and prove that he is a force in the secondary. He has certainly lived up to the expectations that he has had. And yes, I understand he hasn't played a game yet, but he's looked really, really good in camp, and I think he's the clear winner of training camp by far. He's been locking some talented wide receivers down, has really impressed this coaching staff. Anyone you talk to on this coaching staff, head coach Mike Vrabel included, really talk positively about the rookie, and he's going to have a big impact on this Titans team in year one. Is he going to start in week one? That is the question that I have for you. Go down in the comments, type S for start or type B for backup. Predicted is Roger McCreary going to start week one. Racy McMath also looking good, entering his second season in the league out of LSU. Didn't really have much of a role last season, just a pair of receptions, but he has been a huge star of camp, making plays, garnering praise from his quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. And that is what you love to see a guy coming into a second training camp looking a lot better than he did in his first training camp. He is a clear winner from camp so far, making plays. And look, the Titans have a lot of question marks right now at the wide receiver position. So a sixth-round pick in 2021, kind of being a pleasant surprise in camp, is going to be huge for this football team going forward. Kyle Phillips, another wide receiver that has looked good, and he's been somewhat of a pleasant surprise as well. I was pretty excited about this pick, a fifth-round pick last season, and the last draft, I should say, out of UCLA. He was listed on the official depth chart today, one of the top four wide receivers, as well as the starting punt returner. And when the Titans drafted Phillips, we knew he had special teams value that came with them. He's bringing that to this football team. We're going to be seeing him return punts on Thursday night against the Ravens. Now, before we get into some more winners, you can be a winner by going down, taking advantage of this t-shirt combo. It's on sale right now. Chatsports.com slash Titans combo. You can get both of those t-shirts 40% off. Go down, take advantage. That link is in the comments and the description of this video. Are you seeing a trend here? We're talking about another wide receiver. Nick westbrook Kenny has also looked really solid in camp. So three wide receivers that have really emerged here. And Kenny has so much potential. He had an increased role on this football team last year. And it's interesting because on that depth chart that we saw placed today, here that we saw released today, he was placed as wide receiver two behind Robert Woods. He had an increased role last season, entering his third season in the league, 38 receptions last season after just three in his rookie season. He's expected to have an even bigger role this year. Now, who do you think is going to be the second wide receiver on this football team? Is it going to be Westbrook Akinney or is it going to be Traylon Burks? Type NWI for Nick Westbrook Akinney or type TB for the first round pick out of Arkansas, Traylon Burks. It is the pinned comment on today's video. When an ad break comes, go down, chime in. Honestly, at this point, I think it's going to be Westbrook Akinney. I think he's looked better in camp. Malik Willis has also looked really solid in camp, another rookie who has really emerged, and I don't think that's much of a surprise. He was an absolute steal in the third round, was supposed to be a first-round pick, and when the Titans took McCreary in the second round, I'm like, no, they should have drafted Willis. Well, it all worked out because they got both of these guys, and Willis is showing a lot of progress in learning the offense and his decision-making, and when a rookie quarterback is making good decisions in camp, not turning the ball over, 
putting his wide receivers in positions to succeed, that is what you look for. That is what you hope for when you're talking about a rookie quarterback making good decisions. This came from Ben Author. He tweeted this out. Mike Vrabel says he's liked Malik Willis's demeanor in handling the ups and downs of playing quarterback, sees him being able to move on to the next play quickly. And I think Willis needs some time. He's not going to come in and start right away. We know this. Ryan Tannehill is going to be the guy this year. But when he develops and when he reaches his full potential, this is going to be a very, very good starting quarterback in this league. In my opinion, at least, the future franchise quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. Now, who is the biggest winner of camp? Who do you think, based on what you've read, based on what you've seen, who do you think is the biggest winner of Titans training camp so far? Chime in down in the comments. I'm curious to hear who you think. Let's get into some losers, Elijah Molden being one of them. He has missed some time because of an injury, and a lot of other guys, including Roger McCreary, have emerged and might even leapfrog him in terms of playing time. He continues to miss practice. When you're looking at him as a player, yeah, he's a good player, but he's out with a right leg injury right now. That makes some room for Roger McCreary out of Auburn to shine. Sticking with defense, Laurel Merchinson is a, another loser from camp. He has just been kind of buried on this depth chart. Hasn't really gotten as many reps as he'd probably like. Does not really have, uh, you know, in terms of chances of making this team. I don't think he has much of a chance to make this team at this point. He is a cut candidate, and his chances of making this football team, I think, are not great at this point based on what we've heard from Titans training camp. Now, who is the biggest loser of camp? Go down, let me know. It doesn't have to be someone we're talking about today. Let me know who I missed if you think another guy is the biggest loser of camp. Greg Maben, in my opinion, is another loser and kind of similar to Molden. Roger McCreary has looked good. That makes other uh, defensive backs on this team losers of camp. Maben currently buried on this depth chart behind Christian Fulton, McCreary, and even Elijah Molden. So Maben just has not been able to get some of these uh, key reps that you're going to be looking for. He hasn't really uh, gotten as many as, as Roger McCurry. He hasn't looked as good with the reps he has gotten. That makes him a loser of training camp thus far. So two DBs making our list of three losers from Titans training camp. Now, who did I leave off my list? Go down in the comments section and let me know. We're talking about more winners than we're talking about losers, which is always a good thing. The Titans certainly look ready for preseason to start. Again, their first game is on Thursday night against the Baltimore Ravens. We'll have uh, some more coverage leading up to that game. So go down, subscribe if you're all about the Tennessee Titans.